Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 330-14 HGM. The model name is an 81D0. That information can be found inside the BIOS on the bottom on the laptop or on the box. In this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery for your laptop. If yours is not holding up any more charge you just simply want to up replace it and put a new one or yours is blown up really just pushing the covers open then it's time to remove the battery and i get lots of questions asking me can i remove the battery and still use the laptop sure you can and it will work just fine the charger or won't last you longer because it's not gonna be charging any battery so it's gonna run cooler it's gonna last you longer even the motherboard is gonna last longer if you remove the battery all right with all this said, let's get it started. First thing first, power off the laptop completely. Flip it upside down and you'll need a screwdriver set. I'll use the iFix screwdriver set. And from this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. I'll leave the links for the tools that I use in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. If you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab the basic set that are really good. And for the opening tools, I'll use the guitar picks. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, now down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove all, all of the screws. Just remember, all the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So start from one corner and remove them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. I appreciate it. All right, now that we remove all the screws, we're going to slide out the power for the D drive in here. And what you want to do down here, you want to open it up a little bit. And you want to stick the guitar pick right in there between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And then you just want to twist it, and you want to hear a few bit sound clicking so that the clips are getting loosened. You want to do the side towards the DVD drive. You don't want to do towards the other side. Just do the towards the DVD drive, and go all the way to the back corner in here. If yours is tight, just dip it in there and bring it up. Close up the screen, put a face down, put your finger on the hinge and pull it up, Wiggle it around and you can release the bottom cover. And there we can see the inside of the laptop. This model doesn't come with a fan, just comes with a heat pipe because it's a Celeron. But after a few hours of use, it does get overheated and it will overthrow the CPU. They could have given a fan, but they haven't. All right, but our concentration is on the battery, which is right in here. The model name for the battery is an L17L2. PF1. This is a 7.6, 7.5 volt hour volt, and it's a 3,968 milliamp hour battery, 30 watt hour. To remove this battery, you don't want to disconnect it right away because the cables are really hard cables. You want to remove four screws: one, two, three, and four, I guess. Maybe this one came from the bottom cover. Yes, it was from the bottom cover. So you only remove three. So one, two, three screws. Remove these three screws. And then what you want to do, you want to lift up the battery, slowly bring it to here, and then you want to pull it towards yourself straight. Just like that. You slide it towards yourself. That way you can pull this cable jack out. These cables are really tough and cables, so don't worry about damaging it. They're really, really tough. So these are two cell batteries. Once you get the new one in, all you want to do before you plug in, put in the hooks on the screw like this, and then try to fit it in there. You want to lift it up a little bit, you slide the connector inside the jack, then pinch it right in there, and then you want to align the screw holes, make sure they are matching, and then put the bottom screws on it. Also, I'm going to give you a tip on how to use your first time battery to last to make it last longer for the health of the battery. So we're putting the screws. Oh, that one doesn't go there. It goes right here. 
All right, once you have the new battery in, you want to grab the bottom cover. You want to put the I.O. side, the power jack corner in there first. Now hook it in there and push it down. You want to hear those nice big click sounds all the way back down to the DVD, on the DVD drive. Grab the caddy, put it in there, and it starts slamming the bottom screws on the case. Just remember, once you put the new battery in there, you don't want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it powered off and you want to connect the charger and leave it there charging for at least four to five hours. I would say minimum four hours. After four hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected, solely on the battery. And you want to bring down the brightness down to 30, 20 percent. Doesn't matter if you don't need to see anything. Just bring it lower the brightness of the screen so it doesn't consume a lot of battery. So what we want to do, we want to drain the battery slowly, not putting any heavy load or anything like that. Put some Word, Excel, open a few applications. Put a text, put some YouTube in the background, Spotify, whatever you can to slowly drain the battery. After a few hours, once the battery is down to 30, 20 percent, what you want to do? You want to power off the laptop, you want to plug in the charger again, and you want to leave it again charging for another four to five hours. After that, you can just use it as you wish, power it on, charging, without charging, connected. It doesn't make any difference. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new batteries. And you should do that once every couple of minutes. Once you put the bottom cover and you're going to see some openings in here, you just want to pinch them together and it will go to its place. And this is covers up today's video, how to replace your battery for your Lenovo IdeaPad 330-14 IGM model. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.